So what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we've got a lot in store for you today, all right? I'm gonna tell you exactly what is going on with my injury, like what, what, what is it, what's happening, and how long I'm gonna be out. We've got the Avengers coming up this evening. We're gonna go explore my garden, because my dad's recently cleaned it all out and cut it, so hopefully we can find some football. Kieran did in his garden, and we've also got Hashtag's final league game of the season coming up this week, and they're gonna get the trophy, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe. If you have already, we're inches away from 800k subs, so uh, just click that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. But without further ado, boys and girls, <sighs> look, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm on my phone because I was gonna start my vlog, and then no, no, I left my battery up in London. I can't believe it. G7X, you're worthless to me right now. And if you're wondering, I'm actually down in Eastbourne at the moment. That's why um, I'm disappointed I left my battery in London because I was like, I'm going to weekly vlog this week. And I've got the battery. Oh, where are we first in the weekly vlog? Way. We're at my physio. Let's get it done, boys. Ooh, I am back from the physio. Back from getting needles shoved in my groin. That's right. Basically, a lot of physio I've been having is uh, acupuncture and laser. But if you're wondering exactly what is wrong with my groins, um, I have a scan on the 18th of May, which hopefully should just clear everything up and uh, let me know exactly what is wrong. But what the physio thinks I've got is adductor tendonitis. And the cause for this, I've done one too many smacky wacky doodles in my time, okay? Basically, it is caused as a result of gradual wear and tear to the tendon from overuse or aging. Now, it's not aging for me because I'm only 23 years old. I know I may look like 55, but trust me, I'm 23 years old. Basically, the overuse is an overuse injury, I say. It's a repetitive strain injury, essentially. And um, people who make the same motions over and over again in their jobs or daily activities are more likely to damage the tendon. And well, one too many smacky wacky doodars and free kicks going into the top corner uh, has resulted in me getting adductor tendonitis. And so that means every time I play football, like I have done the last six to eight months, my groins just go. So there's nothing I could do um, until now, which I'm now taking part in um, a like a, a groin adductor hip flexor uh, uh, program to strengthen it, everything. And um, there's like three stages to this rehab. I'm currently below level one. That's how bad they are, like they are pathetically weak. But I wanted to just clear that up because I know um, like I've complained about injuries. I'm like, why am I groin keep going? Why am I groin keep going? I'm so injured. I get a lot of comments about fear, you're always injured. That is the reason why. Now speaking of footballs, recently I watched Kieran um, find a football in his garden for like nine years ago. And as, as I said in the intro, my dad has recently cleared up the garden and cut away all the trees. And he said there's a few things hidden back there which I had no idea about, so um, I'm gonna get Charlie to come around. I'm gonna have a little exploration and see what we can find in the bush. As soon as I start vlogging and filming outside, it starts raining. Look, where's the sun gone? This whole weekend, this whole Easter holiday, it's been sunny, but as you, you can see, this is the garden. Look, you see how all of these bushes are now cut back? <laughs> and right in there, that is where I'm expecting to find something. Also, real quickly, so this used to be massive. I'll put I'll, I'll put on some like uh, some videos just to show you exactly what it looked like before because like this is a big difference to what it looked like. There was you couldn't get it to anything. I just went in here and had a look. Check out this, ready? I don't know if you can see it. Wait, hang on a sec. Let me zoom it in for you. You see? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god! You say you see there? You see there? Can you see that? Wait, hang on. Let me try and focus on it. There. Look at that. It's a tennis ball like molded in, like the tennis ball started a drone and attached itself to the tree. Like that tennis ball is now a, a, a tree ball. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, this is the first ball I found and it is like, look at this, ready? This doesn't bounce, it is a rock. There is just absolutely nothing. It's, just, it's basically hollow. So um, I'm going to see if I can do some keepy ups with this. But this isn't. I'm hoping to find more because this right here, this is a bit. I don't even know how old it is. Like I don't, I don't even remember buying this. This is probably a good seven, like eight years old. Okay. Let's have a bit of a kicky. Ready? Oh, it's quite difficult to keep up. The ball's like you kick it straight and it goes off to the side. Can I do the round world to my groin? Yes. He hasn't lost it all yet. Oh, almost. This ball is so hard to actually kick that it's flying off in a dodgy angle. Yes. I 
did the trick. But, hello you. It's like kicking a rock that is like a pentagon shape. It's like a 3D pentagon. But even that, the ball. There you go. There you go. There you go. Not a bit. Just the ball now. Oh. So I try the old forget. Oh no. Question is, what is this ball like to actually kick in a goal? Is it going to break my foot? Most likely. Definitely should be doing this, but the ball is too much time and too much pain. Oh, got corner. Can he hit the bar with this dead ball? Yes, he can, and he scores. That was such a tame shot. That was like a little, little lofty, wafty. Right, anyways. Enough of this rubbish armbro ball, because that is old and gone. And also, by the way, look, 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 ready? Can you see him? Can you see him? Look at that! What a nutter, look how high that tree is. All right, we're going in. Dad said there was a sighting of a football. Not sure what to find, but I've come down to Seaford pretty much for physio and to find this football. So let's see what we've got behind this. I don't even know how you get in here, you know? As you can see on like, the older footage, this was like a no-go zone. You could not get in here until now. Oh, sorry, cobweb. Oh, oh. No worry, it's just a bird. It's just a bird. But there is a ball. Hello, little birdie. I don't mean to disturb you. We've got something. Oh my god, I've definitely got spiders all over me. Look what we've got. Look what we've got. Oh my god. Look at that, there's no air in it. Oh, oh. Oh, can someone please explain to me what the hell is that? That is not a woodlouse. Like, what is that? Is that like a. Maybe it is a woodlouse. Like, I don't know what that is. So, I can briefly make out what football this is. Can you let me know in the comments right now? Have a quick guess before I show you on screen. What football did this used to be? And also, how old this makes this football? Because I'm going to tell you in 10 seconds. Right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, there you go. I hope you left a comment. I'll give enough time to leave a comment. So this football, I've worked out to be, if I hold like that, look at that, that is Euro 2004. Euro 2004, this football, it's probably, it was probably like a size one, it's definitely shrunk in its time. It definitely wasn't a size five, but this is a Euro 2004 ball, and we're in 2019. So that makes this ball a total of 15 years old. I'm surprised it's this clean. Like how the heck, wait, how is it this clean? I don't understand. This has just literally been sit there, not, like, it was just planted in, in the back of the tree, like not even on any mud and stuff, but um, look at that. Look. Ugh. Ugh. Let's see if I can do a coopy up with a 15 year old ball. This is a madness. Oh. Oh. Look at that. It actually, I know I'm saying it was quite hard to the field, but to do coopy ups, it's genuinely quite soft to do coopy ups. Oh, oh, that's a bit of strength. Oh, 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 what am I doing now? Goal. Oh. I will tell you one problem about having a size one football and a goal is that the net, it's not gonna stop the ball from going anywhere. So luckily I do actually have the fence because without all these bushes, that fence behind would have been battered when I was a kid. It's also really hard to get any loft on it unless I go barefoot. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I have just lost my 15 year old football and it's just gone straight over the fence. They're in their house. They're in their house reading newspapers. Oh, I genuinely just think I've just lost my football. I've just found a football after 15 years and it's over the fence and, and it's gone. It's gone. Now while I wait for the balls to be thrown back over, I've just gone through a whole load of photo albums to see if I can get 2004, see if the ball features in anything and nothing, I got nothing. The closest I got is this photo. Now this is me playing football. I'm, I think maybe 2005, I'm probably nine years old here. I'm definitely not eight, so 2004, I would have been eight years old. But that ball is pretty close, it's pretty similar, it's not quite the, uh, the Euro 2004 football that we want, but 
that is pretty close it is pretty similar hi now sorry i've just kicked a, a couple of footballs over <laughs> You've actually thrown another football over. Look, you get your leg bad guard. I feel really bad because I bought a cocktail gun over. So, you got that one, and we got 15 year old ball back. So, Kieran, I just want to say thank you for making that video where you found that football. I've now found my own football, and uh, it brought back a lot of childhood memories. So, uh, thank you, Kieran, mate. What have you done to your forehead? Wow, well, that, that was mean. That was actually mean. I think I'm right now. It's got a spot. Can I go? Alright, we're back up in London. Oh my god, Jay, you almost broke on this. Oh! Wow, that you just stamped. Was you just stamped. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, we're in, back in London. We're heading to see Avengers Endgame. I don't know how I'm going to stay awake. It's my first ever midnight viewing. And I'm very, very tired. Yeah? I'm so tired right now. So, uh, next three hours of a film should, you know, put me to sleep nicely. And we're, <coughs> <laughs> and we're back in the lift. Don't put that on. I'm gonna bleep it. Right. Well, um, we're not gonna talk about the film because we don't wanna ruin it. Cover but... my mouth. I don't want any spoilers for anyone. Yeah, but what I will say is that that was probably one of the greatest films I've ever watched. And that's all I'm saying. Do you, want, uh, 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 do you want a spoiler? That's not a spoiler. Yeah. Tacos. Ooh, and Fortnite. 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 I don't know if you guys will actually find it interesting what I'm doing in the gym before my physio, but I thought I'd show you anyway, just so you get a little glimpse into pretty much how boring it is and how repetitive the stuff I gotta do. So um, yeah, let's go to the gym. So yeah, that was like a brief insight into uh, the rehab I'm doing. So I did a bit of cardio, and then it's all just like groin work, abduct work, hip flex work, and actually a lot of stretching, and now core work. And I actually finished with a bit of chest, because I thought, when I'm here, I may as well do some proper like, muscle stuff. You can tell I'm not really like a gym guy, but I'm working hard, even though it's boring, I'm getting it done. Anyways, it's now Saturday, and uh, we're on route to the last ever hashtag game of the season. Uh, it's the last game of the season, we're gonna lift the trophy, and uh, I'm gonna watch the stands. I've not been here in a very long time, and it looks very, very busy. Look who it is, Mr. Charlie Morley and Marcus Stamp. All right, Hello guys. Come on, Jamal, give me some content. Um, what's your food of the week this week? I'm, I'm, I'm only gonna say one thing to you. Yeah. I love you three thousand. Here we have my usual spot when I'm playing for Hashtag United, the bench. Here we got Marcus Stamp, Ryan Adams, Charlie Morley. Triple H. Hey, yeah, I love the party when you see Go on in, Couchy, give us, give, us, give us a tune. Give us a beat. There it is. Hashtag United win the league. Last game of the season. I'm not going to tell you the score, because obviously it's going to come out next, next, next game. I'm going to highlight to everyone on Hashtag United channel, but uh, hashtag win the league. Go on, Charlie! Oh, oh, there's the league trophy! Show us the, uh, you don't get a medal, you get like a, your own little trophy, don't you? Let's have a look. Oh, snap, look at that. Now you can't actually tell, but this is actually pretty heavy, yo, look. I'm gonna give this to you, we're gonna swap places. What's this for? Take it out. This is for my one goal. Yes, yes. It's actually quite heavy, you know? See, I told you. See, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's a little 10kg weight. That's it, pre-season oh, pre oh, started already, mate. Show your face, you've got juice right, flowing man, there. Bro. There you go, mate. Oh, there it is, for trophy presentation done, hashtag our league champions and we're with the mastermind and the uh, pig. The pig. The pig. The pig. Yeah. 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 
Oh, 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 it's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. Oh, the security not happy with that. It is all kicking off in hashtag land. Oh, it's actually quite cool. That is really, I'm gonna go get a photo.